The extrude tool of editable poly creates branching structures on a polygon mesh. We'll use it to add detail to this column for the pergola in our courtyard. The extrude tool has different functions and options from the similarly named extrude modifier. The modifier operates on splines. The extrude tool in editable poly operates on selected polygon faces or edges. I'll select the column object and I've currently got my command panel visible. If you've hidden it, you can restore it from the button on the modeling ribbon to restore the command panel. And we see that it's a box primitive. I just want a little bit more detail, so I'll have something to extrude. In order to extrude a face, we need to have edges in that region. We can't just sprout a new face from part of another face. We need to divide this up, so let's increase the number of height segments to three and then convert to editable poly. Right click and choose convert to, convert to editable poly. After that conversion, we can access all the tools on the modeling ribbon. Let's go into edge subobject mode and move these edge loops around. Double click on that edge loop nearer the top of the object and select all of those. Maybe get in close with the Z key to make sure. Maybe switch over to wireframe with F3 got all those polygon edges selected. I'll dolly back with Control, Alt, and Middle Mouse. I'm going to position those precisely using the Move tool. We'll just bring them up to a Z value. Here we've got our Z field. Type in a value of 265 and just move that right up. We'll do the same with this one down here. Double click on it and move it down in Z to a position of 42 centimeters. Now we're ready to extrude. Let's do the capital first. We'll go into polygon subobject mode. We want to select all four polygons. We can do that by dragging a rectangle if we're really careful. There's an easier way. Let's get in close. We can just select one polygon, then hold down the shift key and select an adjacent polygon. And as I hover my mouse over that adjacent polygon, I get a preview of the loop of faces that we're going to select. So to select a face loop, shift click on an adjacent polygon. Now all four of those are selected. Let's go back to a shaded mode with F3 and extrude those out. The extrude tool is available from the polygons panel here on the modeling ribbon. It's also in the modify panel. If you just click the extrude button and click and drag, then you'll get a strange result by default. We're extruding all of the new polygons in the same direction. I'll undo that. To access the options for the extrude tool, hold down the shift key and click on the extrude button and you launch up a little element called the caddy, C-A-D-D-Y. Access the caddy for the extrude tool and many other tools with that shift click hotkey. We got some parameters here. First is the type of extrude. We want to change that from group to local normal. And if we orbit around, we can see that extrude has now pushed each of those polygons out along its own local normal or perpendicular to its surface. Then we have the amount. We can increase or decrease that. Let's set the amount to three centimeters and press enter. And we can go ahead and apply this. If we click the button that looks like a checkbox, then that command is executed and the tool closes. If we wanted to continue making extrusions, the caddy has a method that allows us to continue issuing the same command multiple times. So let's do that. I'll undo that extrude. Once again, go back to the extrude options, hold down shift and click extrude. We get the same parameters a second time. This time, instead of clicking OK, Click the plus sign, that is apply and continue. When you click the plus sign, the command that you were working on gets executed and now you see a preview of the next command. The selection here is dynamic. If I click on a polygon, then that polygon is going to be extruded. We're only seeing a preview. This is not a finished command. So let's go down to the bottom here to the base and select the four polygons at the base. Hold down the control key and click to select orbit around with alt and middle mouse. 
and control click and all four of those polygons are selected. We have not actually extruded them yet. This is just a preview. Let's increase the height to four centimeters and press enter and then click OK. That's how to use the extrude tool to create a branching structure and also how to use the caddy to set options for the editable poly tools. In the next movie, we'll see how to use extrude to create depressions rather than extensions. We'll also clean up our model and we'll see how to convert polygon sub object selections.